starting another new week. I am finally ready. Seems like the older I get, the more effort it takes to get ready for each morning, <laughs> especially when I have to do my hair. My hair has gotten uh, significantly more difficult to do the older I get. I don't know why. And I'm kind of getting tired of it. I'm ready for a change. I don't know what kind of change it would be, but maybe a cut and a little shorter and maybe for this summer, spring and summer, going a little more curly. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm ready for this week to begin. It is a Monday. And I'm just wearing a simple, it's an old Gap, um, very light sweatshirt that I had picked up on a trip on sale long ago with some just cropped blue um, Talbot's loungewear type situation. They have zippered pockets and they're just really, really comfortable, pull on style and super easy to wear. So that's what I decided to wear today because the weather's gonna be warmer again today. We kind of go up and down uh, during the beginning of spring in this part of the country. So you'd never know what to put on or what to wear each day. So I just kind of have to wing it and go. So, let's go get started for this day, and I'll show you what I'm up to. I don't know if you remember in a haul that I did a few weeks ago, I had ordered some um, pants from the Disney store company, and I had also ordered this little sweatshirt by a brand called Cakeworthy that they carry. And I loved the pants. They were just a little snug in the waist, but it's going to be okay because I'm going to be walking it'll all kind of slim down a little bit when it comes time to wear them. But the shirt had never shown So up. I called the Disney company and told them my dilemma. I had ordered on February the 12th and the pants, which are a Minnie Mouse print, came about a week and a half later, I guess. But I kept waiting on the shirt and waiting on the shirt. And this is March the 4th and they hadn't come yet so it was nearly a month which is unusual because i don't usually have to wait that long for orders from the company not that i order that much all the time but anyway needless to say picked up the mail yesterday box and it was the shirt <laughs> and i had called them and told them to stop you know the payment or reimburse because it never did show up so they gladly did that so i had to call them back and say guess what the shirt showed up so go ahead and charge my card so anyway it was a mess like most things are but i've got the little shirt it's just cute look up cake worthy uh, on the disney store or other places it's just a different kind of look that the disney um company I don't know if they came up with it or there's a company that they brought on board, whatever. But it's just really cute and I just thought it would be cute to wear if we get to go to Disneyland this summer. When we had gone in the summer many years ago and it was for an anniversary, um, it was chilly. Uh, I mean, we would it would be sort of warm in the afternoon, but the mornings were chilly and the nights were very cool. And I had to end up buying some extra little zip hoodies and things because I had taken linen to wear because I thought, you know, California beach, you know, linen. And I thought that would be so neat. I froze to death. <laughs> so this time I'm going to try to be prepared and take a little bit warmer clothing and uh, layered type clothing so that if it does get cool, I'll be prepared. But anyway, let me show you the cake worthy shirt. A little bit drying closer. right now so I'm not gonna like hang it up but it's got this cute little white collar and the white collar is really thick so it's gonna stand up real well it's not gonna be you know uh, so thin that it falls and a little button loop in the back I did get an extra large in this there is the label cake worthy and then I wasn't just totally in love with what it says the little cartoon on the front but I did like Minnie looking in the mirror at herself, getting ready for her day or her date or whatever she was gonna do. And that kind of reminded me of what I do every morning, getting ready for the day. So anyway, it came, I'm happy. It was on sale, it was 40% off. It ended up costing me about $39, which I didn't think is bad for Disney wear. Um, and anyway, 
I think it will be Here cute. are the cake worthy jeans that I purchased. I got them in a 32 and I don't know what their sizing is. It's really crazy. But you know, I always tell you that I'm a 31 always. <clears throat> but when I read it on the site, the sizing, I decided to go to a 32 because I was really fearful of the waist. And I am so glad that I did. I've got this upside down. So let me show you the label the right way. But these are just some little mini pants that I think will go really cute with uh, the little shirt. And I pressed them this morning so that the outfit would be ready to go when I choose. So as far as size, am I happy with the extra large? Honestly and truly, I could have gone with the large. <laughs> you, just, you just don't know. And not being there to try it on, you just have to guess. But like I said, I don't mind oversized, so we're gonna stick with the extra large. So back to my painting today. I think I've shown everything that I finished but I have been working on a bag for my sister's student that she wants to give her something. And I've already shown, this is Brianna, what I'm gonna do here. So on the other side, I have this plan where I'm gonna do a color wheel. And I want to, these are not supposed to be together. This one is supposed to be right here. But you know, look, a color wheel kind of looks like a slice of pie. So in the sections that are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, I'm going to draw some little connecting pictures of things that are that color. And then in the red, orange, yellow, orange, and so forth, uh, tertiary colors, I'm just gonna let the red and the orange like blend together so that you get that color. And I, I'm not even gonna care when I put the color on if the colors extend outside the wheel. And I might even do some splattering, kind of like I did on my little girl face over there, pillow cover. But this is just a pouch, just a little zippered pouch that she can keep her a few of her art items in. So we're gonna see if that works out and I'm gonna be drawing here in just a few minutes. When we went to our state sales, I didn't end up showing you what I got. I think I told you, but I didn't show you. I had picked up some jewelry, and this is a necklace, and it's just got um, some blue, you know, blue is my favorite color, these blue ceramic glass beads, and a nice connector. We're just going to leave it like it is. It's a triple tier necklace um, with hand strung looking knots that separate the beads, and an extender, um, you know, when you loop it, there's an extension to the necklace. It's gonna be more choker style. Well, maybe not choker, but at least, you know, more of a 16 inch style necklace. So I really had intended to buy it to tear it apart and use the beads for my jewelry making, but I don't know, it's kind of pretty. I may just leave it like it is. And then this one, I was just so sure, I'm pretty sure because it's cold, the beads are cold, that this is white turquoise. I'm not totally sure, but I'm, I'm, I'm really, really thinking that it is because the beads are so cold. And it's, a, you know, goes from large to small. So that's a really good necklace style for Native American jewelry. And I'm not crazy about the connection on this. I don't like the twister thing, but that's what they used to do long ago. And this is tarnished, so it needs to be polished. But it does need to be restrung because it is, it feels like it's on a wire and I need to put it on a different uh, cord, um, a, a different size wire so that it won't be, you know, when you, when you look at it, here's how it looks. I mean, it's the wire is uh, messing up the, the smoothness of how the necklace should lay. So I'm gonna work on that or think about it or use it in my jewelry, tear it apart. And then this little bracelet, it, it almost reminded me of a Brighton. I don't think it is because Brighton always has that certain look to it, but the connector loops through and it's, in, it's magnetic. And it's very substantial, very thick. And I don't know, I just thought it was kind of cute. And for the price, I mean, this one was like a dollar or something. This one was like $2.25, and I, that's why I, th I don't think they knew what they had. Because if this is really white turquoise, that would be much more expensive than that. 
And this one was also like 225 because it was half price day at the estate sale. And then I also got, I had been thinking about doing a basket over here because I just always have my food that doesn't go in the refrigerator just over here on the shelf and it always looks kind of tacky. So I purchased a little wire basket, which kind of goes with my wire basket that holds our coffee products. And I thought that would just make the area over here a little bit neater and, you know, not so yeah, spread all over everywhere. And the basket was kind of cute. And I believe it, they had $6 on it. So half price, it was three. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, for, you know, just something that I wanted to use in the kitchen. So that was my pickup items at the estate sale. Let's calm down. And when I turn towards this, it always makes me look kind of hazy, I guess it's because of the sunlight. But the wind has calmed down a little bit. I hope that they, keep, they can get a handle on the fires that are still burning in the upper Texas Panhandle. It's just been devastating, horrible. So hopefully this week will be, you know, calmer winds. And I believe Friday we're supposed to get some moisture, so we'll see. This is gonna be kind of an exciting week. I have um, plans tomorrow. I have a retired teachers meeting in the morning in a different town, so I'll have to be traveling. And then uh, Thursday, I'm going to meet my sister in the city, and we're gonna kind of celebrate my birthday because my birthday is Sunday, it's March the 10th and I will be 66 years old. I hate that number, but what do you do? I haven't minded being 65. The 66, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the palindrome number, but anyway, it is what it is, and we're just gonna pray for a healthy year and be happy with it. But I'm gonna go get busy, and I will bring you along when there are other things going on in my life that might be interesting. Oh, and my little housekeeper, she's supposed to come Thursday and I haven't heard from her yet. Uh, she has a situation in her family, which may cause her to not be able to clean for me anymore, which is okay. So I'm also gonna have to plan my week according to that. So if she's not coming, then I will be dusting on Wednesday and then vacuuming, mopping, bathrooms, you know, stuff like that on Friday, which I had planned to go pick up my daughter uh, Friday so that she wouldn't have to drive and have two cars down here but um, if I have to clean I can't go get her so we'll just see how the week goes and what happens and I will check with you later. So I had my meeting today it is Tuesday and I travel to a even smaller town than we have to have our retired teachers meeting I am the historian I have to go and take pictures so I always pretty much have to be there. So I will show you the outfit that I wore today. Uh, nothing really big deal. It's just a, a little sweater cardigan from Anthropology that I got many years ago with pockets. The really uh, fun thing about it is the star uh, that's knitted into the cardigan in the back. And then this is just a kind of lilac and white J. Crew shirt because this cardigan has a, a lavender look to it. Kind of reminds me of spring, so that's kind of why I went with that. And then what I've got on for pants are the Judy Blues. They're the cropped length, not the, uh, you know, they're more of a skinny leg down to the ankle. And then I wore some shoes that I've had forever, but they're purple. <laughs> I was just kind of in a purple mood today. Thus is why I'm wearing this purple uh, jade necklace with little pearls. I did not make this one. I picked, I picked it, up. it up at a uh, craft bazaar one time by some ladies who did make it. And then I have on a purple uh, stone necklace. And this is a an amethyst. It is a, the pear-shaped look. And it was only the, the piece was available by the crafter that did it. So, of course, I had to add it to a necklace. And then I have a ring that my husband gave me from Sundance several years ago. It is also uh, in the purple family, uh, purple earrings. I don't believe these are amethyst. I'd have to look it up. I'm not sure what the purple stone is in Sundance, but anyway, 
Um, that's kind of what I had on was purple things today. The shoes that I wore are Grazi, but you can see the purple cast that they have to them. Nobody wears Grazis anymore, but I find them very, very comfortable. So I'm still wearing them because they have formed, the footbed has formed to my foot and they're just super comfortable for me to wear. So I went to the post office and I got an Amazon box. So I'll show you what I got there. And then I did a quick Dollar General run. Um, I'm wanting to work on the uh, drawers in my bathroom and kind of get those cleaned up for spring. Uh, they've just been that way almost since we've lived here, except for when I painted. And I kind of need to freshen up the drawer liners and everything. So I'll show you what I got from Dollar General. At the post office, this is what came in the mail today. It was kind of a big day at the post office. Um, my DHC, which I do need some of this double cleanse, deep cleansing oil. I just love this stuff. I have used DHC products for well over 20 years, I think. Uh, or more if they've been in business that long I'd have to look it up but I probably need to do another review of DHC products they are just incredible but this I cannot do without it is the best thing for removing makeup that just leaves your skin beautifully hydrated because it's just fabulous can't say enough about it and then I got a J. Jill catalog I've gotten into natural life I haven't ordered anything from them yet but they kind of remind me of anthropology, so I've been kind of looking at that. The company store, I don't order often, but I do like some of their products. Uh, Ulta sends something every once in a while. Garnet Hill, one of my favorite catalogs. And of course, tablets. Talbots, one of my favorites as well. So I'm going to have a good time looking through these pretty soon. And then from Amazon, I finally got my order of castor oil. And this one came with a pump. And they say that you want to buy it in a glass container. So let me unpackage this and I will show. This is the organic castor oil in a brown glass bottle. It is 100% pure cold pressed. Um extra virgin and it's supposed to be hexane free i'm sure that's probably somewhere anyway. on there that is what i'm supposed to be using and i will give this uh, company a try i believe this one was either 28 or 39 i would have to look it up i'm gonna say um with the pump maybe 39 but i don't know i will have to look that up i'll put it on the screen and let you know about that and then i also got um, and i don't know how good this will be i hope these are glass vials for um eyelashes and lips that you can put the castor oil into and then use those uh you know the castor oil is supposed to be good for eyelash growth eyebrow growth and so there are three little vials that i can pour those into and then I have heard such good things about these products. They're from Korea. Um, <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know if I trust that or not. But anyway, this is supposed to be the um, Cheek um, Rouge. Uh, in, and it's not a powder. It's a liquid form. And I believe you just roll it on. I, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that, but we'll give it a try. And then this was the series of liquid lipsticks. And I'll let you know how those are when I get them opened. It's sealed right now, so I can't really show you yet. But there are, I think, five or six different colors. And we'll see how that compares to the lip stains that I'm using for my sister that come from um, a company that she deals with. She sells it. And I'll compare those two uh, pretty soon and let you know about that. And then I got a Bag Smart jewelry holder. Some of my necklaces just need some help. And this one is supposed to be specifically for necklaces and keeping them nice. And it's kind of the medium sized. So we'll see how that goes when I start organizing jewelry. Probably won't do that till summer 
when I start going through it and seeing what I want to sell in my garage sale. So anyway, that's what came from Amazon. And then from the Dollar General that we have now, it's new in our town, I got these um, vinyl liners, and they're kind of a gold um, color. I don't know if I care for that. I don't really care particularly. But my faucets in my bathroom are a mixture of gold and silver. So I thought just for something different and to feel fresh and just, just different, I thought I would line my drawers with that. A card for Easter for my sister-in-law. Some candy to put into the Easter baskets that I do for my husband and my daughter. And Suzanne, if you don't want to know what you're getting for Easter, don't look at this. <laughs> and... Um, some pins. I thought these looked Easter spring colored. She's always out of tissues, so I got her some of those. Cute little bunny bag. Um, instead of paper, it's that burlap kind of stuff. And this little pen, I know. It looks kindergartenish, but I don't care. I thought it was cute. You can do the different colors when you push down the pen. And then for my bathroom, I kind of went a, a turquoise or a seafoam color, which my bathroom has got blues, but it doesn't really matter inside. So I thought I'll freshen up the inside and make it look a little different. So I'm going to use these two containers. One came in the seafoam and then white. And then I put my toothbrush in a glass cup so that I can wash it occasionally. So I thought that kind of went with the color as well as the inside. These are actually cutting mats, but I'm going to use them as an extra liner in the drawers. These I'm going to put just products that are in my drawers right now. They were just a dollar a piece. They're just clear plastic. And these cups, I'm not going to use them for drinking. I'm going to use them to store materials that I have in my drawers. I hope they're not too tall. And then some rubberized hangers. I've been getting these for my husband for his shirts. We just need to get rid of the wire hangers. I have the flocked hangers, but I tell you what, in comparison, I don't mind these rubberized. They're just as good at keeping your clothing on the hanger without falling off. They're, they're not bad at all. And then I'm going to see about using this it's a stack and carry uh, craft sort of deal, but I'm going to use it to put in my drawers because um, I did it on the other side of my drawers. I have some little bins that I put in and I like them, so I'm going to try them on the other side and see how well that goes. And one of the little containers has this separated piece in it, and then the other two are just you know, plain, which means I won't leave the lids, but you know, you never know if you're going to use them for something else. So anyway, that's kind of where I was going with my things in my run from Dollar General today. So this kind of day when I go to my retired teacher meeting kind of takes half my day. So the rest of the day, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I do have one of my art projects almost completed. I just need to paint, paint it. And I did finish the other side of this little bag. So I'll show you that real quickly before I change into comfortable clothes and get ready for the rest of the So day. here's the bag. This was uh, Brianna's bag that I finished on the other side. I just sort of made a color wheel using the colors, the 12 colors. Um, and then in each main color, I put objects that are considered red things, orange things, yellow things, green things, blue things, uh, violet or purple things. And I just thought that would be kind of fun to do, uh, just make it kind of a watercolor effect. This was the other side, which I've already shown you, just the supplies that artists use. And then on this side, I'm giving her some color. So hopefully they will like that. And I think I'll do some pull strings with uh, primary colors, just red, yellow, and blue, and that will kind of look artsy. I had put this cardboard in there to protect it, which if you're doing a wet uh, wash, you definitely need to keep that, you know, in there to separate the uh, 
two sides of the canvas so it doesn't leak through. But I, I think it turned out okay as far as how I wanted it to look watercolor wise. And then the other thing that I worked on yesterday, my sister, I, I had shown her a picture of a pillow cover that we thought was really pretty and I'll put it on the screen. I had taken a picture of something that was in a store and I didn't copy it exactly. It's, it's similar, but it's got a lot of blues and whites. And even though this is an ivory velvet pillowcase, and yes, it's velvet, and Sharpies worked just fine on the velvet. Um, I'm gonna see how it works t as far as putting color on it, like I do the canvas bags, by um, adding water, make it, making it very watercolory. So we'll see how that goes as far as using velvet fabric. Kind of nervous about it, but you know, trial and error. And she said, you know, she didn't care if I messed it up because she has several more. So we were just kind of trying this out to see how it would go. But anyway, I thought it turned out okay as far as how I wanted it to look. And then we'll see how it looks when I add the color. I'll tell you what my sister sells. She sells, it's called Lip Scents by Cinegents. And I'll do a close-up picture of it. But anyway, this is the lip that I use when I'm going out. Um, it lasts all day. This is like the kissable stuff that won't come off <laughs> until you're ready to take it off. And that's pretty much true, except if you're eating queso. It doesn't stay on with chips and queso very good. I mean, it doesn't completely come off, but it's not, not as good with queso. So here's a close-up look of it. Lip Sense by Cinegents. And you have to get it through a distributor. I mean, you can't, I mean, I guess you could order it. I have done that off of eBay before, but usually people have to sell this in order to get it. And then she also sells, it's through the same company, uh, the liquid makeup. It's called Make Sense, also by Cinegents. And you can see I'm nearly out of it. This is also the kind of makeup that you put it on and it doesn't come off until you're ready to take it off. So like if you rub up against somebody's shoulder, if you're giving someone a hug, at least your makeup doesn't come off on their collar, on their shoulder or something like that. So I use this mainly just when I am out for the day. But when I'm at home, I use Milani. And I'm pretty happy with it. It's the Milani Conceal Imperfect 2-in-1. And I use the light color. And it does just fine with your moisturizers and your primers. And someday, I just will sit down and we'll do a makeup routine. I'll show you what types of products I use. If you would be interested, let me know down in the comments and I'll... I will do that sharing. So I opened the little pieces from Korea. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing about that, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but I heard two YouTubers rave about it. So we're going to give it a try. So some of them are like um, more of a transparent look, like an oil. And then a couple of them are more matte looking. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll give them a try. Maybe tomorrow I'll try some and see how they work. And then the little um, rouge comes like this. And I believe, let me set it down. Yeah, I'll show you. It's a little applicator. And you just dot it on your cheeks and see, you know, if that's the kind of color that you want. But by it being liquid, I wondered if it would be less drying. For the skin because I, I've noticed that my skin is getting drier and drier and drier. Sorry, I've got the camera held with the wrong hand. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, my skin is kind of dry and I have to moisturize a lot, which I'm hoping that the um, castor oil will help with that a little bit. I have not used the castor oil consistently on my face. I need to get better at that, but I have on my eyelashes and my eyebrows, and hmm, 
I, I don't, like I said, this might be a head thing, but I'm already thinking that it's making my eyebrows have they seem thicker. That can't be possible just using it nearly two weeks. I don't know. It, like I said, maybe in the head. But we'll give it a try. See how it works. Uh, won't hurt anything. Castor oil doesn't hurt. So anyway, we'll give these two products a try from Korea. And I will report on them when I feel like I've used them enough to tell you about them. Good morning. It is Wednesday and I am doing my... Wednesday duties, which is to wash the sheets. And because it's nearly spring, I usually wait until after spring break, but I don't know, I just was in the mood. I changed my bedding. And yes, I'm still in my pajamas. I know, it's the ones from Walmart that I've been talking about that are so great that I enjoy wearing. I mentioned it in another video. If you remember, if you've been with me, you know which ones I'm talking about. Anyway, I thought I would show you my bedding and then we're going to get into these bathroom drawers and clean them out and put some fresh uh, drawer liners on. And I bought some things from Dollar General that I'm hoping will fit some of these items. And by the way, yesterday I mentioned the lip ink that I ordered from Amazon. It was a Korean uh, brand and this is the color. It is beautiful. There are six, and I actually did a, a layer. I didn't really mean to, but I I thought three of them were more matte and three of them were glossier. Nope, they're all glossy. So um, I tried out two, actually. First one was lighter, and this one's more of a hot pink. And um, of course on me, don't know, but We'll see how it lasts through the day, and I will report about that. But it's a really pretty color. I don't know what color it is. Um, if you're interested, I could share you share with you um, what set I ordered. Um, I don't usually share stuff right now because um, you know my subscriber um, amount is is not in the thousands or anything so I don't feel like people probably are watching for influencer style videos I'm not really an influencer but anytime you're interested in anything that I'm talking about I certainly would be glad to share just let me know so let me show you the bedding and then we'll get started on what I had planned for the day some bedding that I've had for a while um I have four sets that I trade around and they're not necessarily seasonal sets. Last year I used a set from Anthropology, and I love it, but it's very, very colorful. And this year I've just been more in a, I don't know, just neutral toned mood. Even though my bed posts are an ivory color, I don't think it looks terrible to have the white with it. It's kind of a contrast. So, uh, I kept on the dust ruffle that I've had on there for a while. I probably need to take it off and wash it soon, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it. And um, the folded comforter is from the company store, as are the tall pillow shams. And then the um, navy blue and white actually came from, uh, I believe it's called Rue La La. And it had another set that went with it that I thought didn't go at all, and it did not hold up. But this little blanket did hold up, so I'm just going to use it as the full cover um, blanket. We do have a, mm, it's a cotton blanket that we put, pull up towards us with the sheets. And so it's just like a, a white cotton blanket that I've had for many years, and it's wonderful. And then the sheets are also from the company store, but when I ordered them, they were out of the fitted sheet in the gray and white. So I have a gray bottom sheet, which doesn't really bother me, it's okay. I would love to try the Brooklyn that everybody talks about, but right now I can't afford it. So I'm just gonna use what I've got and be happy. I'm not crazy about the smile pillow. I've had this for a while. So when I go to the city, I'm gonna look for maybe a colorful spring pillow that has lots of uh, floral colors in it. And uh, that would go perfectly with, you know, the blue and white neutral shades. So anyway, that is my bedding for spring, uh, spring into summer 
and then usually when autumn comes I trade more for colors of autumn so I'm pretty happy with it it'll be fine and that always takes a while because I have to wash all the old bedding get it all freshened up put up you know it's just a it's a day so that's probably why I'm still in my pajamas because I had to work on that all day here are all my things from the Dollar General that I'm planning to use uh, I probably won't use these two but I don't know yet we'll just have to see in my little carry-alls and I've already cleaned out the first drawer you know makeup just sifts and makes things dirty and it's not perfect but at least it's a little bit cleaner knowing that I wiped it out and these are all my old things that some of them I will probably reuse just because they hold stuff well and I have more over here these are my old see that's just disgusting I just can't stand that so, I don't know, I'm either going to clean it and reuse it, because these actually worked really good with that. But, I don't know, we'll just have to do a trial and error and see what works the best. Right, second drawer cleaned out, and I did wipe it down. Now, those things, those stains were there when we moved into the house. So, I did. I just, I haven't added any, you know, stains to it. That's just what it looked like. And here is the contents of that drawer oh my goodness plus i got in my new castor oil um vital affair is the name of it it is the cold pressed um hexane free brown glass bottle all the things organic you know all, all the things that it's supposed to be um to use it and have it be effective so Anyway, let's go to drawer three. And okay, see what did. third drawer cleaned out. Um, and mostly this one contains my hair appliances, my combs and brushes, my heat pad for the flat iron, and an empty box that uh, I think I was probably going to use for my hair supplies, which this drawer is pretty neat. I just need to clean it out. I mean, I need to put a new... Um, liner on but i had worked on this last year i think and get all got all my pins and clips and hair bands and all that stuff together so i'll see if i need to use this other container but for right now i will just work on this area okay. over here. i think that i've got the top door done um i'm fairly happy with it at least i know that it's clean and at least looks better. And this is a drawer that I keep open when I'm doing my makeup because the majority of it is in this particular drawer. And then I have some little lipsticks in my little girl container and cleansers and things that I use every single day and night are up here. And uh, in my little teapot, I keep uh, pads for cleansing my eyes and face. So, you know, I'm, there's really nothing up here that I need to do anything with other than I clean it about once a month to just get the dust off, which is really not dust. It's usually just powder, makeup powder. But anyway, okay, now we're going to go to okay. drawer number two, and I think I'm okay with it. So I use the little cups to like keep my toothbrush and, uh, you know, items that I need right at the front. And I guess this will be okay. I'm not really thrilled about this being on top of those items, but it fits. It's not that difficult, so I guess it'll be okay. So, okay, all well, right, I'm doing I went really fast because all I have, I have are my hair appliances, and I put my uh, castor oil back there to store until I'm ready to use it. Um, and the vitamin E tablets that you're supposed to be able to crack them open and put them on your feet and make them soft if you mix it with Vaseline, which is back there also, which I've never done, but <laughs> that may be something in the future. But anyway, so that drawer is good. So now I'm gonna come over to this one and just, you know, clean it out and put the um, drawer on. Not really a change in this drawer. I just changed the liner and cleaned out the, the drawer. So it's just hair supplies, you know. Pins, clips. Okay, I am finished. This is my husband's top drawer, and it's not really all that big a deal. And then his middle drawer. So he gets two drawers, and I get four. 
Sorry. <laughs> All right. I am finished and I am ready to get my clothes on. I'm tired of being in my pajamas. My hair is a wreck. I need to go walk pretty soon. Uh, it's gonna, it's a pretty day. It's in the sixties. So I definitely need to go walk, but, uh, that little duty is finished and I am so glad. So I won't have to worry about that after spring break. Uh, after spring break is when I usually get my ideas of, you know, cleaning up and wanting to get everything organized and gone through. So I'm getting a head start and I'm so happy. So I will catch you later when something is uh, interesting. This is an exciting day. It always is when we do sister day. Sister this day. is sister day, and this is my sister Jeanette. So on Thursdays, every other Thursday, we we go, we go places, we do things, or sometimes I go to her house and help her, and then sometimes we just get out and go to the city and we eat and we have a ball. But this time, my birthday is close, and she gave me the most wonderful gifts, and I will show you when we get home. But I just wanted you to see that we are together today and we are having a good time. And we've got lots of things on our list and we will do that and I will check with you a bit later. There are some unusual clouds. Wow, I am headed to the store. I need to go to Walmart and then I will be heading home. But wow, very unusual clouds. Well, I am leaving the city and the sky is just beautiful really pretty. We are supposed to get some moisture tonight and tomorrow, so we'll see if that happens. And uh, I am headed home. I'm really tired. I will show you tomorrow what I got during Sister Day and kind of got a treat for my birthday. It's coming up on Sunday. So I am looking forward to all of that. There are more clouds going the other direction as I turned and it's just a it's just a pretty sky day today. Another day has begun already. It's been a week and I will show you a few things that my sister and I got yesterday when we had what we call sister day. We do this every other Thursday when we can and so Yesterday was kind of a celebration of my upcoming birthday. So um, we did extra things that we don't normally do. Had a wonderful lunch at an Asian place that we like and just kind of shopped around, went looking for items that I couldn't find. Some of them I couldn't, some I could. But one of the places that we went in the city is a place called Urban Giraffe, and it has home decor, very unusual, unique, really cool home decor. But every once in a while, they have a pop-up shop that comes and sets up in their store. And this pop-up shop happens to be one of my favorite uh, boutiques that goes to many of our craft shows that we attend. Like, um, there's one called Ruffles and Rust, and she also goes to various craft fairs that happen in autumn and spring. And so she was at this particular store. So my daughter had told me about it. She said, you might want to go look, Mom. So I love her taste. Uh, the shop is called The Riley Girls. They do have a brick and mortar in New Mexico, but I think she spends a lot of her time on the road. She, she goes to various places, various craft shows, and I think does really well because her clothes are just beautiful. So for my birthday, I got, um, th let's see, three pieces. 
and I will show you what they are. And I'm real happy with them. Her clothes are not super expensive. Um, she does have a sale sometimes. These, unfortunately, were not on sale, but for the price, I didn't think they were bad. And it was for a special event. You know, you don't have your birthday every day. <laughs> so it was kind of fun going shopping for things that I don't need, but I liked them. It's just clothes are my nemesis. I mean, I just, clothes are my vice. I'm sorry, they are, and I know it. And uh, it's just been something that I've enjoyed all my life. Not that they look good on me, but it just makes me feel good. So I enjoy uh, clothing and fashion and styling and all that good stuff. Again, not that I'm good at it, I'm not, but I just enjoy it. So let's take a look at so what I got. first thing is a very, very long tunic style uh, button up shirt. It's that kind of a mix of lavender and pink color. It's kind of popular right now. And it's, it's a high-low effect. So it's a little higher in the front, lower in the back, but so cute. And then the pants that are underneath, I left the bottom part of my shirt unbuttoned so you could see this. And I don't have these tied or anything because I wanted you to see that they are a pull-on tinsel style uh, cargo pant. Very loose, you know, they're, they're a denim color, but they're not denim. And they're almost like a palazzo pant. You know, they're those big wide legs that are popular right now. And then the cargo is here on the side. It is a working cargo pocket, but the button um, is undone on both sides right now. And I don't know, you know, I guess I'll button the other one soon, but I, I, I need to look and see. I guess they keep them buttoned, I don't know. But anyway, long enough for me, my tall frame, and they are elastic waist, which is nice. Uh, the rope pull, I'm not really fond of, it's okay. Um, it won't show particularly long pockets, good in the back, all around, unless you do the tuck, which most everybody does. So I'll do the half tuck thing and kind of tie it, see how it looks. And right now I have the sleeves, the cuffs unbuttoned because I probably will roll them, but you know, really cute. Roll up the sleeves. There is a leopard print on this, which is also really, really cute. And uh, I don't know, I just thought it would be kind of a cute outfit for early spring and on into summer when it's not super, super hot. I get so hot, I'm just a hot box. <laughs> but maybe this will be okay on cooler days in the summer. But really cute, and I'm real happy with this. Now, if you wanna know the prices, I believe the pants were 59, and I believe the shirt was in maybe 42. I can't even remember right now, but I think it was like 42. So, you know, $100 for an outfit, uh, a little over, and something that I can switch and wear with other things. So all in all, I am real happy with these two pieces. So the leopard print blouse was 100% rayon, and then the cargo pants are 100% tinsel. Tinsel, tinsel, however you say that. Here was the other purchase that I had. This is a blouse, full button down blouse with a collar. And I like the sleeve length that comes to my elbows. Seems like if my age group, if we go up here, it's not as attractive. So, you know, to the elbow or maybe a three quarter sleeve is always a little bit nicer to see, not necessarily, but you know, that's just my opinion. But this one I think is really, really cute. Again, some of those same colors. Uh, pink has kind of been my thing lately, and I've always loved the seafoam, almost turquoise color in shirts. And this is kind of a wild um, print, but anyway, this is a large. The other one that I showed you, the leopard print was a medium, and my tinsel pants are also a large. Now, could I have gone a lot less? Of course, but you know me, I have to have oversized. 
And I can also do the effect that I did with the leopard print shirt. I can do the half tuck. I can do the front tuck, you know, that sort of thing. And I think it will look cute. Probably this one needs the full front tuck. I don't know, maybe not, perhaps, we'll see. And none of these have been in the laundry yet. I'm just trying them on because I got them yesterday just making sure that I like everything okay. So they will definitely go in the laundry and probably get a little bit of a press with my iron. Uh, yes, I still iron. Some people uh, do the steamer. I'm not a fan of the steaming. I want that crisp, you know, really polished uh, look when I do my clothing. So anyway, this is kind of what this looks like. It has a really cute, I don't know if you can see it, yoke in the back that has a gathering to it. And that also gives you room for being comfortable. But everything these days that I buy, it's gotta be comfortable or I don't want it. But the pants are perfect, perfect fit. I mean, they are fantastic and they're gonna feel so good with lots of different outfits. So I'm really happy with these. now. The other thing that happened, my sister gave me birthday gifts and she's always just over the top with her gifts. Um, but that's just her, she's a giver. And so she and her, her daughter are super into Johnny Was clothing. And if you're, if you're familiar with Johnny Was clothing and I get catalogs and of course I look online sometimes, but now Johnny Was is not my necessarily favorite, but they have gotten me into it. And I really enjoy the clothes because they're unique, they're different. So if you've never checked out Johnny Was, they're very, very pricey, very, you know, they're in the hundreds of dollars. Nothing hardly ever is under a hundred unless you go to a sale. And that is what my sister is good about, finding Johnny Was clothing on sale, which I am too. I mean, that's what we all do. So she was in the Dallas area, and of course they have Johnny Was stores. They probably have more than one. And I have been in the stores before and they're just gorgeous. They're beautiful stores. But anyway, she was in there and they were having a big, huge sale. So she got me some clothing from Johnny Was and some other items. And she tells me they're on sale. I don't care, that, that's fantastic, yay. You know, I want them to be on sale. So I'll show you what she picked up for so me. This is a really pretty embroidered blouse. It is silk. It does recommend dry cleaning, but my sister said she does not dry clean the silk. She just puts them on the super gentle cycle and hang to dry and they come out just fine. So I'm gonna trust her on that and try that with this one. It's very um, kind of Aztec inspired, but you can see how heavily, heavily it is embroidered. That is not a print. I mean, I'm, that's not a fabric. Print. It's not in the fabric. This is embroidered on the shirt. And that is what Johnny Was clothing is all about. It's all about this heavy, heavy embroidery. Super, super pretty. And then in the back, um, it's got a yoke with the embroidery on it also. And then this um, vented detail that you see on most shirts. Now this one, she had gotten for herself and it was way too big for her. It's a little bit too big for me, but she knows I don't mind oversized clothing. So I got to have it and I am thrilled two pieces to have it. Now there's not anything on the sleeves. You know, it's just long sleeved. Just those areas are where what it's embroidered. And I will try this on in just a little bit and let you see it. And then the other thing she got me is not a Johnny Was. This one is from a company called Paparazzi and it gives you that effect of the embroidery like Johnny was. And this is kind of arranged so that it falls diagonally on one side of the shoulder. And I think it is really, really pretty and just as pretty as the Johnny was, but all of this is embroidered. It might not be your thing. I like it because it's very artistic 
and it's bohemian, which is what I think my vibe kind of is. I am not a classic dresser. I, I used to want to be like Talbot's, but my body structure doesn't allow me to be a classic dresser. I'm too um, large boned and a few pounds overweight. We won't talk about that. So I've never wanted that classic look. Um, I'm not business style. I'm not super trendy. I'm just bohemian. I like artistic kinds of clothing. Things that you don't normally see if you, you know, go into a mall or something like that. I like to shop boutiques, even though J. Crew, Talbot's, Sundance, Sundance is bohemian, um, Garnet Hill, all of those are are you know stores that aren't boutiques and i still love them but my main shopping is with boutiques that have unusual clothing that you're not going to find you know when you go in the mall and 15 people have the same shirt i don't I, I don't really like that i like to be different and original and and all of that so anyway the uh, embroidery does not go on the back but it does have a seamed this is unusual, a seamed yoke right up here. I've never seen anything quite like that. And I believe the other one was silk. The Johnny was, is silk. And this one is viscous. I don't, I think that's how you say it. V-I-S-C-O-S-E. -S and viscous is a good fabric. It, it does really well. Silk is rather delicate and you have to be careful. Uh, the leopard print shirt was 100% rayon. I don't like rayon, but I'm gonna deal with it because I like the shirt. And then this one is probably 100% polyester. Let me see if I can look. La -da 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 -da. And it is a large, by the way, I don't know if I said that or not. Okay, okay. 97% polyester and 3% spandex. So that kind of gives you an idea of the fabric quality and i'm kind of all over the place with my fabric i don't stick with just one favorite fabric is cotton even though you have to iron the heck out of it because it wrinkles so bad rayon is real better about wrinkling you know so i'm kind of i like all kinds of fabric cotton's my favorite so anyway i was just thrilled with her birthday gifts and the gifts are not over you're probably thinking you are the most spoiled thing <laughs> with a sister and your husband does things where I am spoiled and I am very, very blessed. And I thank the dear Lord every day for my situation. And I had a good life of teaching. You know, it was a good, good career. Not always great days. Nobody has perfect days every day. I still don't. I still have days that, you know, you, you just have to uh, get into the Bible and read and and focus and and get back into what you know is is right and your beliefs and all that good stuff so my life is not perfect but my channel is called Laura Loves Life because I do and I want to um, just show you why I, I'm blessed with a family that is super just they're just wonderful and I had a wonderful father uh, my mother was wonderful in her way she was a little more difficult to, to deal with, but I loved her and I miss her. And I desperately miss my daddy because he was just, I can't even tell you <laughs> what, a, what a kind man he was during my growing up years. And I was a child of their later years. They did not have me until they were in their thirties. So um, I was a, oh, <laughs> And my sister, like I said, she's 11 years older than me. So I'm the baby. And I kind of feel like sometimes I get treated like the baby, you know, spoiled. <laughs> but I try not to be, you know, do it like spoiled people are. I want to be um, gracious and thankful and all those good things, but yeah. Okay, anyway on i'll try these on which is all right the paparazzi blouse is an extra large and it is a pretty good fit it's still oversized for me i could definitely go 
Large or medium. I know, but I won't do it just because right here. <laughs> but anyway, it's it's cute. I really do like it. Here's back. Nice and long. I prefer tunic style shirts. Not crazy about things that come up here. I just feel like on my long form, it looks better. Um, I don't know. It always kind of looks funny if I have something that's here. It just looks like my legs are like 90 miles long. So I like to balance this out. And the way I've got the camera, you really can't see the full effect, you know, but it balances out my long, tall, <coughs> excuse me, uh, body style. So I love this. Thank you very much, my dear sister. And I will enjoy wearing it. It is not hot, you know, it's, it's very um, cool. So it could go probably spring, um, early summer, and definitely fall before it starts to get cold. Fabric. Love the fabric content, that 100% viscose, and it's gonna launder up very, very well. All right, this is the Johnny Was. Believe it or not, it is a size large, so it was cut oversized, and it's still like generously oversized. So no wonder my sister could not wear it because she's much uh, thinner than I am and littler. She has more of my mother's body type. I have more of my father's body type. So, you know, anyway, she couldn't wear it. She just felt like it swallowed her. And my arms are very long. And so this is a perfect length for my arms. I will probably roll, don't know yet, because this has a double cuff button cuff area. Uh, again, this is 100% silk, so I'm worried about the laundering process, but my sister said, don't worry about it. Just put it in the wash, gentle, and, and hang it up. She said, don't worry about it. It's gonna be okay. Because so I've worried about the uh, embroidery drawing in the fabric because, this, because of the silk, but we'll see what happens. I hope it'll be fine. She said, if it hurts it, you're not gonna, <laughs> she said that was on sale. Don't worry about it. It wasn't, you know, but anyway, I love it. It's just really cute. It's again that long tunic length, which gives me that division that I'm looking for and not the real high waisted stuff that I don't feel like looks good on my frame or my age group. So those are the things that I got. And then I'm gonna take you in here and show you what else she got me way over the top. I wish she hadn't done that much, but she kept telling me it was on sale. Don't worry about it. So I'm thrilled with everything. My sister so even fun. spoiled me when I was little, um, you know, because she was older. I was like a little, a little companion. <laughs> so she would bring me candy. She would bring me little things. And even to this day, she brings me stuff all the time. And, uh, I'm sorry, but you know, uh, the older you get, the more you love your family and you, you feel so blessed to have what you have. And she's a special person. We are very, very different from each other, which is okay, you know. Um, but we lost a lot of years because of the age difference. Her children were growing up while I didn't have any, you know, I was beginning my life. And then when I had my daughter, her children were in high school and going to college. So uh, we were busy in different ways. So after retiring, this has given me a chance to spend time with her. And I have loved it, loved it, loved it. And I think she has too. We've really enjoyed being together. Okay, let's go see what else she spoiled well, me. With. presentation going because I wanted you to see the Johnny was how they wrap everything. So this was a little box and in the box was this pretty, pretty bracelet and the necklace to go with it. Really, really pretty. And she left the tag on this one. So I'm going to tell you, it retailed for $168. So I don't know what her sale price was. I think, I hope it was 75% off. I hope. She didn't tell me. That's okay. But how pretty these are. And very much like the jewelry that I make, because it has the leather. It has the little cross uh, thing attached to it. It's got the turquoise stones. 
and you know it's it's really my thing that bohemian look so anyway i'm just going to show you how it was presented so the bracelet was in the box and the necklace was in the little um the little bag and then they have beautiful boxes not here not around here if you could find johnny was clothing they don't want put things in boxes but in the bigger cities, the Dallas area, if you buy something, it's a magnetic close. So is this, it's a magnetic close. So you don't wanna throw them away, you wanna use them. And you know, just a really nice box for storing things. So I'm gonna keep that and look at the beautiful designs. The artwork just knocks me out completely. Just gorgeous. Makes me wanna go draw it, you know, it's just wonderful. And then, if you buy a purse, they give you a dust bag that looks like this. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm gonna pull out what was inside this, and here is my other surprise. She bought me a purse with fringe. Again, it's that bohemian look, and she knows I adore butterflies. Look at the butterflies. Look at the embroidery. It just knocks you out. It's just something else, and gray. I am in love with gray. I've always loved this blue-gray color, and the fringe is so pretty. So that's what came in the dust bag. Again, she told me it was on sale. I don't know how much it was. I don't know what their bags are. I've never looked at their purses. I know about the clothing. I've looked at it. I have looked on Poshmark for some clothing. I've gotten two pieces from Poshmark of Johnny Was. But for me, myself, I usually can't afford to uh, purchase a Johnny Was. And I'm not ever around anywhere where they have it off for 75% off. So I'll just let them do the fun shopping and and spoil me when they <laughs> come. <laughs> I don't know, anyway. So here's a care card, and this is what it says. This item is crafted with premium Italian leather, which does not require any additional treatment from polish cream or other chemicals. If scratched, please buff with a soft cloth only. The beauty of this leather can be preserved by keeping it in your dust bag when not in use. We hope that this piece brings a smile to your face every time you use it for a long time to come. Enjoy. And then there's a little butterfly at the bottom. How precious, I love the card insert. That's just extra special. So like I said, this is kind of an over, um, this is kind of a crossbody style because it's got the long strap and it's gonna be so fun to use. It has a pocket here that has a magnetic close. You can hear that. And, oh, here's the card. Let's see. No price on it, good. I'm glad there wasn't a price on it because I would have probably passed out. But anyway, here's the Johnny Was cards. They're even pretty. I even keep these when they give me something. So it is stuffed here with some, you know, packing. And it's got an inside zipper. And let's see, I'm not doing a very good job of showing you the inside at all. Okay, inside zipper and quite a bit of room. And, and it's very deep, you know, it's a long purse. So it's gonna hold quite a bit. And I'm gonna keep that stuffing in there until I get ready to use it because I do think it helps to keep the shape of your purses. And I, I do that with a lot of my purses that are in my closet. I just keep the stuffing and, you know, just take it out when I'm ready to use it. So I hope you enjoyed this little Johnny Was presentation and the things that my sister got me for my birthday. It's not a brag thing at all. Please don't think that. It's just a, I like to share. I, I enjoy seeing what other people get for I their I enjoy birthdays. seeing what people get for Christmas. You know, it's just so much fun. And I hope you do too. And I'm always happy for people that, you know, whatever they've got, bless you. That's wonderful, but you better be gracious and thankful to the Lord because that is the person who provides for us and who gives us these wonderful families. So thank you, my precious dear Lord Jesus and Maranatha, come quickly. <laughs> I'm ready. But while I'm here, Laura is going to enjoy her life. And I hope you enjoy coming along with me.
Thanks for joining me right now for this week. And we've got a big week coming up because spring break is coming, Suzanne is coming home, and we've got many plans that we will share. God bless, take care, and I will see you next time.